Hi everyone, my name is Vicky and welcome to day 20 of our 21 days of fasting and prayer. Today we are praying for those struggling with mental health. There's no doubt that mental health issues are a real problem in our society. The mind is the one place where the enemy is most likely to attack. It's quite easy for people to feel intimidated by the enemy's crafty voice and before they know it they are headed down a path of doubt, unbelief and fear. This then leads to things like depression, anxiety and other mental illnesses. In the Bible, Timothy struggled with fear, but in 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 7, we are told, For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. The Lord doesn't want us to live in fear and wants us to have a sound mind. There are many people around us living in fear. They are struggling with the attacks of the enemy in their minds. One in five people suffer from mental illness in Australia. The Lord wants us to bring these people to our attention. He wants us to remain focused on him and to also pray for people suffering from the attacks of the enemy. This also reminds me of the well-quoted passage in Philippians chapter 4, verses 6 to 7. Do not be anxious about anything. But in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Let us remember to keep our focus on Jesus. Let us also remember to love and pray for those around us and those in our nation with mental illness. Let's pray into this together. Lord Jesus, we just thank you uh, that we can come to you, Father, with everything. And Lord, we just thank you for bringing these people with mental illness to our attention. Lord, we just pray that you'll give us what we need, Father, to show these people love. And Father, that throughout the day, you'll just help us remember these people, Father, so that we can pray for them. And if anyone crosses our path, Father, that we can show them love. And Lord, that ultimately these people will come to know you, Father. And Lord, we just thank you for all that you do. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a great day, guys. See you.